Hey, what is up guys, and welcome back to the Zozums. This is me once again, the only person on this YouTube channel. Today we are back in World of Tanks to take a look at the BT-7 Tier 3, well, the BT-7 Artillery Tier 3 Premium Light Tank that you got during the World of Tanks birthday thing a long time ago. So, as you may notice that, well, as you may notice, compared to the last video, we have, um, well, a different hangar, not hangar, but garage. And that's because the event where you could use the T-62A Sport for the, the um, that, 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 uh, thing. Yes, that thing. Good lord. Mm. The soccer event has ended, or football event, depending on where you're from. You from? Where you're from. But that's beside the point in which we are going to be taking a look at the BT-7 artillery. So, this is a 75mm dwelling... Um, BT-7. It's, it's derp. It is very derp. So, I don't feel like going to tanks.gg or going over the armor and stuff. So, we're just gonna do it here. So, first things first, we're gonna take a look at the shell penetration for this gun, which is the special, special little 76mm derp gun that the Russians have on that one tank in World... No, sorry, not World of Tanks. This is World of Tanks. Uh, on that one tank in War Thunder. The T-26. That's like tier one, and nobody uses it because it's complete trash. So, it's basically that turret stuck under this tank, the BT-7. But anyways, this is the only gun in the game that I think has more penetration on its high explosive at 38mm than its armor piercing at 37mm. Kind of awkward, if you ask me. Now, this is very much not a tank that you should use in brawling like things. It's very much just a like hit and run. I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna push it. Like just hit and run, unless you're like in a good position where you have teammates to support you. You're not gonna really want to stick around with this thing's reload, which is compared to the rest of the tier three tanks at this battle rating, it's not really that good. So, I just suggest you run away, <laughs> hit and run. If you don't kill it, real run. So, overall. The firepower of this gun is okay. Uh, it could be better, could be worse. So, let the, what, yeah. the armor on this tank. We're going to take a look at the armor on this tank. So, this vehicle gets 220 hit points, with the whole armor being 20 millimeters at the front here, uh, 19 at the side, and 13 at the rear. Whilst the turret armor is 15 at the front, 15 at the sides, and 13 at the rear. Not that special. So, let's take a look at the mobility of this tank. Now, the weight to power limit, or otherwise known as the power to ra power to weight ratio, is okay. I guess it is okay. So the engine power on this vehicle is 500 horsepower, which is better than the BT-7. I know that, um, but worse than the Panzer 1C and the Toldy. Yes, that that tier three German light tank that everyone got for Christmas, but nobody ever uses because it's just war gaming. So just use it because stuff. Now, this tank lacks at traverse speed for 45 degrees a second. Eh. Now, top speed on this vehicle is 51.6 degrees, I mean not degrees, sorry, kilometers per hour, whilst the reverse speed is 20 degrees. I hate my life. 20 kilometers per hour. So, moving on to the concealment of this tank, it's nothing really special, it's just a light tank that just has a derp gun. Plus, the big turret doesn't really help it, so it's nothing spectacular. Now, spotting for this vehicle is bad. View range is 274 meters, and the signal range is 283 meters for the radio. That is really all I got to tell you about this tank. I mean, if I were to use um, equipment on this tank, which is completely useless, I would probably use an enhanced gun laying drive, um, either a toolbox or improved ventilation and let's see what else do we got here um probably an enhanced christie next thing you know um probably a camouflage net or binocular telescope because this thing's uh spotting range is completely useless now for other pr premium consumables i would yeah you know just use the normal either small repair kit or larger repair pit 
um, small first aid kit or large first aid kit or a manual or automatic fire extinguisher is if you don't want to die. So that's really got, all I got for this tank. Let's just hop straight into the match. Right guys, so we are back for a tier five match, except this time it is on cliff. Now, I'm probably gonna just try and rush up the hill because there's really nothing else that can stop us. That Toldy is a good player, however you one shot the Toldy. If we're lucky, that is, I think that has enough hit. Actually, no, it doesn't. It has over 200, just a little over 200, I believe. So we won't be able to one-shot the Toldy, however, we will be able to at least put him out of his misery, or at least just scare him off. Now, there really isn't any fast tanks, I believe, that they have that can stop us. Um, maybe the Crusader, if the Crusader tries to push the hill. Hopefully he doesn't know. That is the thing. Um, yeah. Let's just, hopefully we just don't get destroyed trying to go up this hill. Or we don't meet, and uh, we don't meet, we don't meet any bad, bad things. Right. And handbrake. That's thing in handbraking time. Close enough, we're gonna push up here. And there's a Skoda over here. Hello, hello Skoda, hello Skoda. How is your day going? I'm just gonna spot these guys. Holy crap, artillery. Right, so I'm gonna push up, try and meet. Okay, no, they're all coming for me now. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Run away. PG7, get out of my way. You moron, get out of my way. Thank you, and have a nice day. Hope you guys have a fun time being spotted. Yeah, Covenanter, what are you doing? Thank you. Bad, bad sort of bad driving on my part. So that Skoda T24 got taken out in which I'm researching the T-24 at the moment, just trying to get through the, um, crappy, um, STVZ-39 at the moment. So I'm not gonna make a video on that thing, because that thing's complete trash, just know that it is complete trash. Now, we have a Toby. What are you doing, Toby? Um, we might be able to get a shot at the Toby if we're lucky. Um, what's this? Oh, that's an M4 Sherman. We're so screwed. I love Tier 5 matches. Oh, that's two info Shermans. That's not gonna help us. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, they, saw, they spotted me. I don't have a repair kit because I hate this thing. Yes, yes, I see. Go oh, away. We punched him. 58 damage. Nice. Just fire another high explosive shell. And geez, they think. Now, how are they spotting me? It's probably that told me, but still. If this, like, team could do something other than just all camp that area over there. That'd be helpful. So, there was a Sherman right around there. Fire a blind shot at that guy. Hopefully, he doesn't. Hopefully, we hit him. We're not gonna be able to penetrate the Sherman from the side, I believe. Oh, hey Sherman, how's your day going? Uh, so there's a Sherman on low health. Um, we get good. Sh oh, he did. So that was a Matilda. A Matilda. Uh, uh, Matilda. So we could probably have a shot at this guy. Yeah, we have a shot at Matilda. We're not only not going to penetrate, however, we can do damage with our high explosiveness. Fire! We tracked him. We tracked the Matilda. Okay, we'll fire another one. No pen. Actually, no damage. That, that thing has too much armor. Uh, where's that Sherman? So there's a Sherman. We do have a shot at the Sherman, and I know we have enough penetration to damage the Sherman if we hit him. Or at least not enough penetration, but enough high explosive filler. And we hit the side of the M2. Yes, we can do six damage to the side of that Matilda. Now let's take a, let's take a few shots at that Sherman. Now the Sherman's firing blind at us. And if he has spotted us, well that's crap. So and without a doubt he spotted us now. Fire! Oh he has 42, so that's gonna take four more shots from us. Oh, never mind, the M2 medium took him out. Nice. And our teammates are flooding to save the day. Yes, now where's the Matilda's dead? Matilda's dead. Yes. Now there's an M3 Lee up there, so I'm gonna go and engage that thing. Or not, just have a Sherman ram me and take away 10 of the hit points. Uh, I think I'm gonna go artillery hunting if this T67 doesn't kill them first. Well, kill it first, I should say. Um, we have an OI experimental, which I'm probably gonna have to go engage. And not pen just pestering with bullets. So we're gonna do so. Because we need to spot that thing. And whilst we are spawning it, we can just destroy it with fire. Oh, hey, look, we can one-shot the M4. Can we, can we, can we, can, come on, can we get a shot at the M4? Fire! 
Nope. Yes! No. Nope, we didn't kill him. And what's this? A uh, little AMX 38. Gosh, we have to stop the thing before it turns into a duck. Two damage. Heck yeah. Fire! Three damage. It's better than two. Okay, and load another shell. 38. That was better. Ah, there we go. He's dead. Now where'd that OI experimental go? I don't want to know. Oh, he's been spotted over there. That thing is pretty fast for being an almost 100 ton tank, I believe. At tier 5. <laughs> Mystically gets over um, 40 kilometers per hour. Now, I know we can use that thing's crappy gun depression to get around the back of it and just stay below its gun depression. So we're going to fire one, miss it, and we're just going to stay on the side of this guy. Just pumping. High explosive shell after high explosive shell into the side. Never mind, we can't do that. We're just going to troll this guy. We're just going to troll this guy by using his crap gun depression against us, against him. Oh, never mind, we're just going to go off the cliff then. Sure! Oh gosh, that's not good. <laughs> what is this? What is this? No! Go away! Go, go away, nobody likes you. Go! Oh, no! That's a shame. That is quite a shame. So, this thing just, it doesn't, it isn't meant for facing tier 5s. At all. So, if if you reach tier 5, just do your best. Good luck. Merry Christmas. If you reach tier 3, well, Merry Christmas, go ham, you're gonna kill some stuff. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like down below, refuse to keep making stuff. And if you are new to the channel and you really like this video, please subscribe, because that'll help me out a lot, because you can see my new videos every time they come out. Yes. And if you dislike the video, dislike it, because there's always a dislike button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know, stuff like that, leave in the comments section down below. I'll probably get back to you, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.